man! You gotta beat the man! This is my yard now. I will fight anyone and everyone. Here he comes! Where is he? Cactus Jack! Your arms are just too short to box with God! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Few True Heels podcast. My name is Jacob Bessler, Elm Hotter. I'm Brian Brian and Peacock. Just the two of us this week. Yep. Uh, Brooks is in Orlando. He's working. Yep. So Brooks will probably be taking somewhat of a hiatus? Maybe? Uh, no, football's almost over. What? Spring fo- <laughs> I guess spring football's not very long. <laughs> well, like a week? Well, school's almost out. Okay. It feels like he just went to Orlando this week. No, school's almost, football's almost over. Or maybe I just didn't know he was going to Orlando. Yeah, it's been a couple. It's been a couple weeks. Okay. <clears throat> but, yeah, I mean, school's almost out, so. Yeah, yeah that's true. They don't do summer camps? Um, I don't know. Listeners don't give a shit. <laughs> Guys, do you care that we're talking about high school football? Brooks cares that we're talking about him. Yeah. I'm talking to him, actually. Oh, are you? Yeah. <laughs> so, I didn't watch it because, like, I don't care. I <laughs> you sound like me. I didn't watch it because I don't care. Man, I am. We're flipping. You guys were the ones who were like, we don't care about the WWE reviews. No, I'm the one that doesn't care. Well, what's happening? To be fair, I only watched it, the whole thing. <laughs> Because Brooks came over, and we're like, yeah, let's watch a little bit. And Brooks went home, and I started an art project. <laughs> and so I watched the rest of it. And then, yeah, it was over at like 2 a.m. And then I spent the next two hours still working on my art project. Uh, about an hour and a half. And I watched the first two episodes of Black Lightning. So oh, was that good? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Jeez. know. I, I didn't like it. I felt... Whenever I start a show like that and watch a couple episodes, if I don't like it, that done. I wasn't paying a lot of attention to it, but like I felt like I don't know. I uh, I haven't heard anything good about it. I feel like if I say something, I could say the wrong thing about it. I haven't heard shit about it, so neither. I uh, saw it and I was like, I kind of know who Black Lightning is, and I was, I don't know. You know what I wish they would have made instead? What? Because uh, this totally has to do with wrestling, but instead of Black Lightning, why didn't they make a Static Shock? The yeah, it's two different people too. Like that's not Static Shock growing up. No, yeah, I always thought it was. <laughs> oh, yeah, I didn't think it was, but I love Static Shock. Yeah, a I, lot of people love Static Shock. A lot of people don't know who the hell Black Lightning is. <laughs> yeah, and I only know because of one of the animated movies. Uh, LeVar Burton did his voice or someone like that. Okay. I Something only know famous. about him because of Hero Clicks. Oh, yeah. He's a really good Hero Clicks. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I have. Uh, they did like a short run of Static Shock comics when they switched to the new 52. And they are fucking good. Oh, yeah. Huh. The cartoon for Static Shock was good. DC is about to reboot again. <sighs> <laughs> well, speaking of DC, though, since this is totally a wrestling podcast. I saw this meme today. Okay. And it was like, I don't like DC movies because they're too dark. And it was showed like screenshots of like Marvel and DC movies. It's like, yeah, but there's tons of death and destruction in Marvel's movies. And it's like, no, the DC movies are too dark. I can't see what the fuck's going on. <laughs> and yeah, all the DC movies were like it's so true. dark. Yeah. I mean, they were like, let's make dark, brooding movies. Let's turn the brightness all over. Until you see yeah. Avengers. Yeah. Oh, I've already said too much. <laughs> Apparently, you can wait. I couldn't wait. I literally went yeah. that night. <laughs> yeah, I, I can wait. I, I'm going to watch Black Panther, and uh, I realize I haven't seen Spider Man yet, so I have to watch Spider Man. We should watch Spider Man this weekend. And then. <sighs> or right after this podcast. I don't have time <laughs> to do any. Uh, what am I doing Sunday? I don't know. Oh, Sunday's falling apart. Nope. Oh. Not going to have time to do anything. And Friday. I'm going to go to an NXT show. I don't know about you. Yeah, probably. But I'm going to NXT. Hell yeah. Because Alistair I'm... Black was on the ad for it. You are losing your shit in our messenger. Oh, buddy. <laughs> I'm surprised Brooks didn't say anything. Alistair Black. Oh, that does not mean he's going to be there. I know. 
Because it was him and Velveteen Dream. I mean, he is champ. Yeah, I but don't he, know. we also haven't seen the champion a lot at our shows. No, that's true. Sammy? Was Sammy champion when we saw him? I think he Yeah, he was. Yeah. Yeah. I think mean, that's the last I time we, I can think we of. We have, but yeah. it's not out of the question, but I've also been waiting and waiting and waiting. So there's this show. And then next week is Citrus Springs. How do we not know about this Crystal River show? I don't know. I'm glad I get the emails. Yeah. <laughs> they must have just randomly had it. I don't know. The Citrus Springs might, might not be happening. That's oh, happened. Yeah. We'll have um, to go to one. And the possibility. Uh huh. Alistair Black. Not just Alistair Black, but Ricochet, Ricochet. And War Machine or War Raiders. Yeah. Well, War Raiders, I feel like, is a pretty good chance because they're not, like, super popular in NXT yet. Or they're right. not, like, they're not one of the it. main guys yet. Yeah. It will be. And if Ricochet is there or War Raiders are there. They're probably going to be there together because I see a lot of pictures of them traveling together. Really? Mm-hmm. We might have to hang out after that show. Yes. <laughs> I will do anything to meet Alistair Black. And Ricochet. I would, I, would, I would like to shake Ricochet's hand. Like, way to go, man. You Way to go, Prince. What's that? <laughs> Prince Puma. Yeah. What's up, Prince Puma? That tattoo uh, looks familiar there, bud. <laughs> God, you look so familiar. It's a little spotty, though. <laughs> if I could pull that off in front of him, you I'd should. be proud of myself. <laughs> you really should. That would be great. I'll, I hope he's not listening. <laughs> they all listen. They all do. No, but for real, like if I can meet if I can meet Raymond Rowe, like, like I want you. Like I talked to him on Facebook or something, right? Briefly. Yeah, a little bit. I actually, it's been a couple times. Yeah. Message, not you message. Might recognize but, your name. Maybe. He, he doesn't have a lot of Facebook friends. Um, oh, yeah. Your Facebook friends. <laughs> yeah. And, like, it was just happened one day because I sent the request a while ago. And it's like, yeah, he's got, like, a thousand. Yeah, I'm friends with Player Uno and Willie nice Mac. Job. That's Willie cool. Mac. <laughs> but, like, because we talk about, like, Viking stuff all the time. <laughs> like, not all the time. But yeah. like, when we do talk, it's like... Me and my buddy Raymond Rowe, we talk about <laughs> Viking stuff all the time. Because he's, like, a legit <laughs> fucking Viking. Him and, uh... Yeah. Which is why I'm such a big His Sarah character Logan character and out of character. Yeah. Like, I, if I lived in Orlando, I would be part of the Swamp Vikings, without a doubt. And then you would really know him. Yeah. That's pretty crazy. You could just, like, join that thing and be... In friends... Fight. Or at least acquaintances. Yeah. Live Steel Fight, Raymond Rowe. Live Steel Fight? They like... Really? Yeah, they're metal weapons. They're oh, not, God. It's not LARPing. <laughs> it's it's Viking reenactment. Holy shit. And, like, when they go... like they, It's like every week on Instagram, uh, Raymond Rowe and Sarah Logan are off flying to uh, Ravensborg, I think is what it's called. And it's a legitimate Viking village. And everyone is in a 100% authentic... It looks like pictures of Vikings. It doesn't look like people huh. playing. It doesn't look like people... Re- it doesn't even look like people reenacting. Looks like someone went back in time and took pictures of Vikings. Yeah, <laughs> it's so crazy. That's wild. So, you wanted to talk some about the Greatest Royal Rumble. It was long. It was long. <laughs> well, it was Ollie from Family Guy. Uh, yeah, I, I'm going to probably watch the Rumble if I'm just... Sorry about the background noise. No, just watch it all. Fuck it. I don't no, know. I mean, it's seven yeah. hours long. You don't have to commit to that. I want to watch the Rumbles because Rumbles are fun. And Titus O'Neil <laughs> made the show. Oh my god. I wasn't going to bring that up yet because that is the highlight. They're making t shirts and everything. I think it's a work. It's like Rumble, Bumble, and Stumble or something. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> and you know, I agree. I think it was a work too. Somebody was like, look at where he tripped. He didn't trip. Dude jumped under the ring. <laughs> yeah. He speared the ring apron. For all intents and purposes. Yeah, essentially. I think it was a work as well. Um, but, like, Hornswoggle came back. Somebody else came back, yeah. too. What was the other big surprise? I can't remember who the hell it was. I don't know. Probably wasn't that... Impactful. 
one surprise came back. So is there anything else you wanted to mention about the Royal Rumble or get people to watch it? Um, well, it's not our job to get people to watch it. <laughs> kind of is. <laughs> not until they pay us to. That's fair. That's until fair. then, watch it if you want. I don't care. Until then, watch Ring of Honor because it's better. Yeah. And when Ring of Honor tells, starts paying us to say that, we'll say it every day. Um, I, know, I mean, it was fun to watch. Yeah. I mean, the whole show was fun to watch. If you've got seven hours where you're not doing anything, or when you're working on an art project, and you sit here and just, like, draw in front of the TV, you just need something on for seven hours. <laughs> Damn near an entire work day. It has to be in those exact parameters. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, fuck, put her on, you know. I skipped all the promo stuff, which I know made it much quicker. Yeah, we probably skipped like a quarter of the show. Was AJ Nakamura's match any good? Uh, yeah, I think it was. Okay. Um, I'm excited about the backlash match. See that? It's gonna be a no disqualifications. Oh, uh, okay. That'll be good. Um, Cena and. Yeah. Triple H? Yeah. Cena and Triple H had a match. Very opening. That was the opening. What? Yeah. See, those everyone talks about how shitty those two people are. How? How are they shitty? There's no way. Cena and Triple H? Yeah. How Cena and Triple H bury all the young talent. And they just buried each other. I don't know. <laughs> like, no, it was um you know, it was a weird match because it was very, very slow. Uh, yeah, they were probably working it old style. Very slow, which was fine. It was yeah, fine. You know, do what you want. But my one of my favorite things was because you know we did not watch it live because it happened you know at noon. Um, I don't think we started until like eight. <laughs> um, which is why uh, Chris Braddock didn't come to watch it with us because he's like, man, we're not going to finish this till 2 o'clock in the yeah. morning. I was like, yeah. And that's why I was like, I'm not watching, guys. I'm not coming <laughs> over. Cause I had to work the next day. So uh, I was just... Uh, oh, but my, my favorite... One of my favorite memes... We're recording a podcast. Sorry. They're not. One of my favorite memes before I watched it was... Uh, uh, you know, Triple H and Stephanie's entrance on the trikes. Right. Someone photoshopped them on camels. <laughs> That's great. And then when he, when he spit in... me. <laughs> I should have thought of that. And when, when Triple H is spitting the water, he's got a camel next to him spitting water. That's awesome. It was pretty funny. One thing I will mention, I was reading the other day, was that sumo wrestler was in the Royal Rumble. Yeah. <laughs> I found out why. <laughs> yeah, can, why? So, apparently, a Saudi Arabian royal family member booked that show. Wrap your head around that. <laughs> oh, well, that explains a lot. Okay, right. So, he wanted, he asked for... Wow, that explains so much. <laughs> he asked for two people to be in that rumble. The Ultimate Warrior and Yokozuna. That is the correct reaction. Hold on, what? <laughs> <laughs> the two dead guys. He wanted in the Royal Rumble. So I guess they have a relationship with the sumo wrestler. They got him to come in. Okay. <laughs> then who was the living incarnation of... Oh, Lord I don't know. Uh, <laughs> uh, was uh, Mojo Raleigh there? I believe so. Okay. He, he's in the living incarnation. Oh, yeah. There you go. Um, there's a couple things to talk about quickly from that. Not even quickly. There's a couple things to talk about from that show I found to be total bullshit. Was they apologized because apparently the General Sport Authority of Saudi Arabia apologized to viewers and attendees of last night's event took place in Jeddah over the indecent scene involving women that appeared as an ad before a segment. It totally disapproves of this, and in a shadow of its commitment to eliminate anything that goes against the community's values. That's ridiculous. Forget women. They're evil. <laughs> we, we have two women that we get their opinion on this, but they probably don't care. They don't care. They might. Hey, 
Hey, ladies. Ladies, come here. You, you demanded that we come, come in there earlier. Do what? We, we need your opinion on something. Four. Where's Jess? She's sleeping. She's definitely not sleeping. I can hear her talking. <laughs> She's sleep talking. Is she not coming out here? She's been no. Here. Okay. Uh, Getting the demon to sleep. I am not going to bed yet. Huh? I said getting the demon to sleep. I'm not. Not yet. We're almost done. So, come here. We need your opinion on this. Oh, I have to watch something? No. Oh. So the General Sport Authority would like to apologize to the viewers that attended the last night event. The indecent scene involving women that appeared before a segment, it totally disapproves of it, and it goes against everything in the community's values because it showed a video that showed women. What? <laughs> I'm confused. And this was the event in Saudi Arabia. The Saudi Arabian General Authority apologized Oh, they're to apologizing. Because oh. they showed a woman. Oh, God forbid. Jeez. <laughs> That's it? That I doesn't, like, make it upset or anything? If that's not my culture, I really don't give a crap. Oh, that's fair. Like, maybe that's, I don't know, maybe in their culture that's disrespectful to the men. Oh, it Show. definitely mm -hmm. is. Yeah, they showed an advertisement that featured Sasha Banks, Carmella, Naomi, Nia Jax, Becky Lynch, Alexa Bliss, Bailey, and male superstars singing along to a song to promote dual branded pay per view moving forward. Okay. <laughs> that's I weird, too. Oh, yeah, you, I forgot you didn't watch that. Yeah, it was weird and really dumb. I'm I was going to skip it, but I couldn't. I couldn't bring myself to do it because I had to see what the hell was going on. I couldn't figure it out. That, yeah, that's bizarre. And they also apologized because what was the bit the, the Navaris did? They just came out and riled up the crowd? No. Um, all right, so they were showing... Um, I don't know if they showed Triple H, but I know he was there. They were doing like tryouts for... Saudi wrestlers and uh, they, had, they brought four of them out that they said were moving on or something like it was a game show I don't know if they really are or not um, one guy was super awkward you could tell that he was on there as a favor um, the other th at least two of the other three were actually pretty decent um <laughs> There's all kinds of stuff going on. All kinds of background noise. Um, hey, don't mess with the decorations. Why? Why? So let, let us record the podcast in peace. Are you really? We go. Okay, good. What? Get, get gone. <laughs> um, Let's go. I'm going to get a nap in this meal. Yeah, so they're, you know, Saudi wrestlers. And the Davaris came out. Uh, I think they're from Iran. They are. And uh, apparently there's an issue between Saudi Arabia. I hope they're not picking up on the mic. And Iran. If somebody's brakes or something is driving by and making a terrible noise. I know whose <laughs> belt that is squeaking out there. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I don't follow current events or news or... That shit's been going on for thousands of years. <laughs> <laughs> okay, or past events. Uh, I make up my own history. Don't Thank pay you. attention to history. <laughs> <laughs> I make up my own history. Thank you very much. And uh, it's much more fun that way. Yeah. <clears throat> so, I don't know what the conflict is, but apparently there is an issue. Because the Davaris come out with the flag, and they, they just get booed heavily. And... Uh, they came out, and of course, they were talking shit to the Saudi wrestlers and the Saudi wrestlers. The one guy that was super awkward. He like hit one of them, and he couldn't he couldn't hit for shit. It was it was bad. He was so bad. Oh jeez. But the other three were pretty good. Like the one guy. Uh, I'm gonna I went. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mispronounce it. I know it. Okay. But it's something like monsoon, basically. Okay. Uh, like he was a damn good talker. One. Uh, his English was better than mine. And, uh, like, I mean, they all, like, hit one move, like a kick or a punch or something. Yeah. But he was good. And the short one, who was, I think he was the short one, I think he was from Jeddah, 
which it, all I could think of was like, man, this I knew you were gonna bring that up. <laughs> I can't believe we're watching a WWE pay-per-view from Star Wars. I, mean, I was excited. That's why I watched it. Um, <laughs> uh, he was good. I mean, his kick. I mean, it was, it was a good kick. But. Yeah. It's a good kick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, it seemed like the, the, the last three of the four guys were decent. The one guy seemed like he was in there as a favor. I mean, you said the... The one dude booked it, so he's like, "Yeah, let's put my brother in Some there." Some kind of Saudi is. Arabian royal family member. Yeah, it's just weird to imagine Vince letting that happen. Yeah, that's so weird. And I didn't know. Um... All right, so there was a lot of fuckery that happened. Yeah. Yeah, like it was just fuckery all night. Like it's like just weird things. It was a weird show. Um. And, like, things just not quite going right. Um, well, there was pyro. Tons of it. <laughs> which was Brooks' favorite part. All he cared about was how much pyro. That's awesome. At one point, I was just like, they're going to, every time someone gets slammed, they're going to have pyro going <laughs> off. Uh, although Rusev did not get any. He also got buried, didn't he? Oh, uh, he got put in a casket. Yeah. So I don't know if they buried him after, which would be highly inappropriate. Right. <laughs> but um, I that match was okay. Did Undertaker just destroy him? Um, like he did Cena? I don't really remember. Probably did. I think I was doing something during that match. I don't understand what's happening with the Undertaker right now. I don't know. Just being the Undertaker. I hate to say it, but I'm ready for him to just go. Hmm. The matches are just not as entertaining as it used to be. Because like, I'm ready for Brock to go. Oh, yeah. Speaking of Brock... Um, you had that fucky finish, I know. Yeah. Which I still haven't seen, but apparently... Yeah, because Roman spears him through the cage. I didn't know there was a fucking cage match. Until Brooks was like, Look, is that a cage hanging up there? I'm like, sure is. Yeah, it, w- it was like when you used to be able to, uh, like, book your own pay-per-views and video games. Right. You put a casket match, a battle royal, a cage match. No shit, you're right. <laughs> yeah. Like when you said that the one dude got to book it, I was like, oh, okay, no, it makes perfect sense. He was sense. just playing the video game. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. That's um, how he submitted the show to Vince. <laughs> it was through the 2K18 game. <laughs> Vince this was is like, Raw, Raw's roar from fucking at 64. Vince was like, all right, who's got the sheet? Hold on, Vince, let me go get the PlayStation. <laughs> fucking what? Just on smack. Just on know your role. <laughs> oh, my God, that's amazing. But yeah, you, think, you think it's the letter that's supposed to have the booking stuff, and it's just his copy of the PlayStation <laughs> 2, know your role, and the memory card? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Oh, that is amazing. That's the thumbnail. <laughs> like, booking plans and that stuff. But it's got... Uh, but the the finish was uh, Roman Reigns spearing Lesnar through the cage. Right. And then, even on the replay, I think it was Michael Cole or whoever it was, was explaining why Brock won. It's because his, his feet hit the floor first. And Brock's feet are still on the cage that's hanging... From the side of the ring, so his feet are nowhere near the floor, and I think they were even just like, "Well, I don't know why you want." <laughs> like, I don't know if they Damn. said that, but that's essentially how it came off. Damn. Because like you see Rowan hit him, they go through the cage. Brock is laying there on the cage, but his feet are like hanging out, oh, not on the side, but you know, at a forty-five degree angle, pointing into the ring. And Roman hits, and uh, Roman rolls off, and they're trying to explain why Brock won, and they're just kind of just like, fuck it, I don't know. He was supposed to. <laughs> yeah. This is wrestling, goddammit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would be a great explanation, though. <laughs> yeah. And before we get too far away from it, the whole thing with Davari, uh, he actually apologized. Uh, one of the Davaris was getting death threats. And he said, during an appearance this past Friday, I portrayed a fictional character and played the role of the antagonist no different than what other actors would do in a movie or TV show. 
That character does not reflect my personal views, and I apologize to anyone that may have been offended by the skit. I have an incredible amount of respect for the great people of Iran, and I am very proud of my Iranian heritage. Thank you. Yeah, uh, and it says in this article from SE Scoops, for those unaware, Iran and Saudi Arabia have a contentious relationship with one another. One another. The rift between the two countries is related to interpretations of Islam, competition for oil exportation, and relationships with Western countries. Huh. Yeah, Arya Davari, he said, uh, Unfortunately, some people took offense to this despite it being pure entertainment. Some threats were made against my life. I wanted to put this statement out to clarify where I as a person stand compared to my TV character. So, it's very unfortunate that I don't know. Just people... People be crazy. Yep. <laughs> and now, the thing that annoyed the shit out of me about this was... You know, if, if they want these guys to come out, be an old school heel, get all this old school heat... Yeah. Yet, Sami Zayn, who's Syrian, was not allowed to go. Was asked... Not, allowed, well, not that he wasn't allowed to go. He was asked not to go. So, and do you know what's going on between Syria and... Basically the same thing. Bullshit war over religion and all this oh, other yeah. dumb shit. Um, Syria was also like pretty much controlled by ISIS, I believe, for a long time. Oh, so it's okay. just it's all that backwards ass third world country bullshit over there. I don't even care about if anyone gets upset about that. It's true. Yeah, <laughs> just people shooting each other just because. You know, it's kind of like America. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Never mind, Saudi Arabia. You do you. <laughs> oh, we got some fucked up shit here too. Yeah, know. we do. Yeah, so, people who can't get drinking water. We got. God. I'm, yeah. yeah, that's like enough. You start lifting off. I, I can't. Off, I can't. <laughs> list all these problems with Saudi Arabia, and then like, oh, we have those here too. <laughs> shit. Oh, fuck, see do. Well, oh, never mind. mind. Moving on. <laughs> yeah, the, the Sami Zayn was asked not to go. Uh, the women weren't allowed to compete on the show. In my opinion, they shouldn't have done it. Like, I know they did it for the money. Right. Like, you or Brooks even asked in our chat, you know, why are they even doing it? I posted a gif of the guy with the money. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. But, I don't know, I think especially a company like WWE who is so... Like, their American values are so strong. Like, that was the first television show or live television show after 9-11 to air. And, you know, they basically say, fuck you, terrorists. We're going to... Yeah. Things are going as normal. Yeah. And and you just do this. I, I don't understand it. I don't know. Could it really have made them that much money? I don't know. Maybe it's a set up for something in the future. Maybe. I don't know what. Peace talks with everybody? <laughs> no. But, oh well, we, we'll, we'll never know. This yeah. The base of it, we'll never know. <clears throat> Me and Brooks were kind of thinking that maybe this is like the first step to do like a WrestleMania sized event in different countries. Yeah. To give yeah, other countries, okay. like, the WrestleMania experience. Well, they've talked about doing Mania in London for a long time. Yeah, because I don't think they'll ever take Mania farther than Canada. I think they will. I, I don't mind if they do, but I just don't yeah. think they would. But doing something this size, because this is basically WrestleMania too. Yeah. But the other thing that sucks, it was so close to Mania. <laughs> right after <laughs> so okay so it was like Mania 1.5 it was and uh yeah, like those were big fucking matches yeah like it was a big fucking show yeah and I could I could only imagine that they're probably gonna start doing that now that's not the first country I would imagine them starting in but I wouldn't be surprised if we start seeing shows this size yeah you know once Japan maybe twice a year yeah. I mean, they did the, the Beast from the East show in Japan. Yeah, but it wasn't nearly as big, was no. it? No. Well, no, it was in the Sumo Hall, wasn't it? I mean, like, time-wise. It wasn't like a seven-hour... Oh, no, no, no. ...super event. But I think it was as big as they get for Japanese arenas. Maybe. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe. I don't remember. Yeah, I don't even think I watched that. 
Uh, I don't know. I don't think we I did. think so. It was like one of Brock's nice first shows. I don't remember. It's been a while since that show was on. Yeah, because it was Brock uh, versus Balor was the main event. Right? Pretty sure, yeah. Yeah, I don't think I watched it. I don't remember. I don't really remember it. Uh, <laughs> well, if we didn't watch it, I guess it wasn't yeah. that good. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if we start seeing like one or two like mega events. Yeah, they could do something from the O2 Arena in London. Uh, do more, I guess they could do more Saudi Arabian stuff. Yeah. Uh, oh, one of my other, other favorite memes I saw was, man, there's a lot of people cosplaying Sergeant Slaughter when he was a heel. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I thought that was pretty fucking good. Jeez. Yeah, I, I guess I'm of the opinion that I hope they don't do it again. Oh, they probably man. will. Yeah, I think so. I just hope that they start doing pay per views on Friday. Yeah, yeah, we'll see about that. They won't. <laughs> if anyone knows why they do pay per views on Sunday, please tweet me at Best in the Realm. The only thing I could ever come up with is so they can go Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. It's just tradition at this point. Yeah, other than that, I don't, I don't fucking get it's it. It's just stupid. Um,. Is there anything else in the world of wrestling we need to talk about? <sighs> Paige is the uh, you know manager on SmackDown now. I think we've already talked about that. Oh, that's kind of cool. Nakamura and AJ Styles are going to have a no disqualification match uh-huh. at Backlash. Nakamura has new music, and it's badass. Yes, that was pretty fucking cool. I love that it's in Japanese. Yep. It's going to piss some people fuck off. I hope so. <laughs> Uh, Brian Danielson doing being in the Rumble for like uh, he broke a record. Yeah, like a hundred and sixteen. That's minutes. a big reason why I want to watch it. Actually, um, you don't think I can go? Fucking watch me. <laughs> That's probably what he told somebody. Actually, you know what I saw was uh, I don't know if it's true, but someone made a meme that uh, Ben Wall was in one for one hundred and twenty four minutes. Oh, but they don't want to. They don't want to talk about that. I don't blame them. Yeah, I don't blame them either. We'll have to talk about that on the podcast one day. Yeah, I still don't know how I feel about it. It's been like ten years. Yeah, it's probably been more than that. But that that, that should be a, that's a good topic to have like Brooks and Chris on. Yeah, you know what it's probably gonna be is just always being like that's eh, fine. <laughs> that's gonna be <laughs> the end. <laughs> but I guess we'll see. Yeah. But I think that's it for wrestling. Nothing yeah. much has really yeah. happened other than that. Yeah. A whole lot of nothing. Yep. Plus, uh, God, I'm so much, so much busier with everything else. Yeah. Thank God for clips on YouTube. <laughs> but, alright, thank you guys for listening to this episode. It was a bit shorter, but as always, there's less to talk about. We're going to figure out something with New Japan and Ring of Honor soon and also figure out when we have time to watch this stuff. Yeah. But thank you for listening. Let us know if there's anything out there in particular you want us to watch because we would love suggestions. Also love it if you would share this with all your friends. Like, comment, all that stuff that you've heard for years and know now. Yeah. Uh, it helps us more because we're new and we're tangy. But it's appreciated. <laughs> but thank you for listening, guys. Uh... You can find me, I'm Jacob Best in the Realm on Twitter, at Best in the Realm, Facebook, Best in the Realm Gaming, uh, bestinthealm.com is a thing, uh, just takes you to futurevillains.com, um, Instagram, I don't have any more, but you can go to Future Villains on Instagram, uh, twitch.tv slash Best in the Realm, where can they find you, Brian? You find me on Twitter, at BrianMan25, even though I barely use it, <laughs> uh, you know, just find me on Instagram, Brian on 38 that's probably the best place to... I post a lot of more stuff on Future Villains Instagram, too. Yeah, I like Instagram. I do, too. But you can find all of our content on Instagram, Future Villains. Uh, on Facebook, Future Villains. The Twitter, at Future Villains. Uh, you can find all of this content... Or, sorry. You can go to YouTube.com slash Future Villains. And you can find all of this content on FutureVillains.com. F-E-W-T-R-U-E-V-I-L-L-A-I-N-S.com. Thank you for listening, guys. We're gone. We gone?